Okay. The affirmative rebuttal, I would like to state that Hoover, the leader of the FBI, did send a mess did send a telegram to his New York division saying to them, before Malcolm X's murder, do something about Malcolm X. Implying that he was urging the New York office to kill him. This was deliberately vague, as given by a telegram, which can be intercepted. This is the Cold War, and we are very adept at surveillance. He was being deliberately vague as to not openly state kill Malcolm X. <clears throat> Muhammad threatened Malcolm X. He did suspend him, and they did make amends before Malcolm X was assassinated. Thomas Hayer and Norman Butler, the other two of the three men that you did not mention, who were accused of killing Malcolm X, served 20 years in prison each, and after they were released from prison, expressed their innocence because they had already served their punishment. Norman Butler, again, submitted himself to a polygraph test where he claimed he was innocent. The polygraph reported he was telling the truth. The one reporter that did admit to killing Malcolm X still does not hold any proof because the thesis statement, if heard correctly, states that they were hired and or coerced by the FBI. That does not exclude him personally pulling the trigger. It just means that he was not motivated by the Nation of Islam to do so. He was not acting on behalf of the Nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam still did not kill Malcolm 